Hey guys, welcome to the new video of AG Framework. Today we are installing Quasar Store Present Quasar Inventory 3.0. First of all, you need to visit their official TBEX website. I'll provide you the link in description. After reaching their website, you can find multiple tabs are there. You need to click on Scripts section. Here you can find multiple jobs are there. So first of all, you need to select our inventory. Here is the inventory. Just click on here. Here you can find the features of inventories. You can see properly lightweight light performance inventory with compatibility with QBQBox ESX. And you can directly see the clothing animations and same goes to the trunk with proper visual update. You can directly change two mode first with the compact mode and second is the properly advanced mode without any issue. You can directly change between them. After that, make sure to log in with your CFX ID then click on Add to Cart. After adding this item, you need to click on Check out Quasar Store Providers. Some special discount coupon code. You can directly join our Discord and avail this discount coupon without any issue after that. Continue your payment. After completing your payment, the script will be directly received on your Key Master ID. Here you can see I got the inventory. If you did not see our previous advanced inventory video, make sure to look it out. So after that, click on Download, save it to your computer. Open the downloaded file. Click on Extract here. Here you can find the inventory folder. So first of all, we need to follow their README section here. You can see they are provided the full documentation links, so I'll show you the full documentation. Then we can install our script for that. We need to follow the documentation. First of all, you need to purchase this. Then you need to download their dependencies. They are having two dependencies after downloading their dependencies. We need to follow their artifact version and same goes to the build version. Also, after turning with the build version and artifacts, we can directly move to the database section. If you are using ESX, you can use the ESX one. If you are using QB core, you can use the QB core one. As I am using the Kubico version, I will just copy this and paste it to my SQL file. Just make a new query, then paste this, then hit run. Here you can see the inventory is properly settled into my database without any issue. After that, close the SQL file. Then you can see we are having three options for the configuration of inventory. First of all is the ESX, second is the QB code, and third is the Q box. It is a different code that we need to change for the QS inventory. As we are using the QB core version, I'll just use the Cubico one. You don't need to change anything. Just download it and paste it to your main server directory. Here you can see, click on Extract here, rename it, then open the file, open the share Lua, then open the item Lua. We need to change the item Lua for the QB core, then scroll it down in documentation. Here you can find the item Lua for the QB core organized way. Just copy this one and now open your Visual Studio code, select it all and paste it out. That's it now. If you're using the clothing as an item, you need to paste the item for the clothing. Also for that, here you can find the clothing items. Just copy it and paste it here and save it to server. Then close this after that. If you want to use your database to clear in ESX version, you can directly do it without any issue. Same goes to the weapon and attachment. Here you can find the weapon and attachment proper details mentioned on weapon.elua. So you don't need to worry about that. You can also set the durability for that. Now let's open the inventory script. Here you can find the multiple files are there. First is the swap, second is the inventory, and third is your SQL file as we already injected our SQL file, so we don't need to use the SQL for that. Then we'll go for the inventory configuration. Just open the config Lua folder. Here you can find multiple configuration. First is the basic configuration. Just open it here, you can find the, you can find multiple languages option. You can configure your own language without any issue. Most of the cases, it is integrated. After that, you can see the framework configuration. It supports three of your framework, ESX, QBox, and QB Core, without any issue. It automatically detects your framework. After that, you can directly fetch your all inventory items. I will just recommend you not to do it if you don't know what is the migration. After that, you can use your target system. As I am using the OX target, I will just make it enable. It will automatically detect between both of them, QB and OX. Then you can find the throw key bindings. You can directly change the key binding for throwing items. Then you can find the police job. 
Police can see your six slot. You can enable it or also disable it. Same goes to the police job. You can directly configure your police job. Also, you can do the block slot. You can block your six slot without an issue. Also, you can change the item hidden name. Also, you can enable or disable your progress bar. When opening it, same go to the sound and throwing in trade. Same goes to the change level. You can directly change your item level based on your choice, and you can also trade them without any issue. Also, you can throw it by pressing E button, and also you can configure your hands up button. Here you can see same goes to the when player is dead, you can steal them. You can directly enable it or disable it. You can also enable it when if you are having a weapon for stealing it or not, you can directly enable it or disable it based on your configuration. And one of the main thing is inventory weight and inventory slot ratio. You can directly configure them same goes to the main inventory. Also the drop inventory. After that, you can directly enable the level change. You can change the level change price. Also you can charge it or disable it. You can directly block the level like phone or money. You can directly block the items for changing level. You cannot change the level of phone, and same goes to the money. Also, you can use your usable lockpick for the hotbars. You can directly block them item from the hotbar without any issue. Also, if you are using Quasar inventory, you will get the default DLC of Quasar backpack and a proper backpack and ID system. You don't need to worry about that, and you can find multiple DLCs for free in their Kazar store. After that, you can find the clothing as an item system. You can directly enable or disable it based on your section. I'll just enable it because we added the item for the clothing. After that, scroll it down. You can find the appearance based on your server. Its default is support Elenium and QS appearance. Same goes to the R core, ESX, and QB core clothing. You can also add your default or custom clothing without any issues. Also, you can use the clothing as a standalone. If it's not detected by the resource, it's automatically run as a standalone version. You can also configure the item drop props. Also, you can configure the refresh rate and max view drop without any issue. You can now find the inventory animation when you are opening. Same go to the inventory open scan animations. Also, you can change the logos based on the section. Also, you can enable the ideal camera if you are not doing anything. It shows the proper camera animation. You can disable it or enable it based on your choice. I'll just make it default so I can show you everything without any issue. Same go to the inventory other options. You can directly disable the health armor or thrust, or you can enable it based on the hood sections if you are using. After that, you can find the all default clothings and bindings for the inventories. Also, here's the one more thing. The inventory supports two versions. First is the compact one. Second is the proper normal one. So you can use between them. If you are using compact inventory, it's normally shows on this side of screen, right or left side of the screen, and the normal one is properly showing at the middle of your screen. So I'll just use the compact one to show you the compact inventory. After that, I can show you the normal inventory. Also, now you can, at the end, you can find the color QB inventory bypass. If you are using the QB inventory, you can directly bypass this. Same goes to the prefix and also the debug and zone debug system. I'll just suggest you disable the debug system if you are having a running server. It's the best thing for that. Now close the configuration. Here you can find the crafting configuration. You can directly enable or disable the crafting based on your server. Also, you can directly see the crafting reputation function. Same goes to the item threshold system. Here you can see the example items for the crafting are there. So you can directly add your own custom items without any problem. You can directly see the location for the crafting table. I'll show you the proper full is crafting table and other tables, and you can also add your own table without any issue. Now close the crafting section. You can find the default color jazz. You can directly change them and set them as your need. After that, you can find the garbage.lua. Here you can find all items for the garbage and metal scraps. Based on the configuration, you can directly configure them for the item to prop. Next is the metadata. You can directly find the metadata with the evaluations. You can directly customize them. Next is the selling items are there. You can directly add your selling shop without any issue as like a proper pawn shop. 
so you don't need to worry about that. Adding extra resources or something can directly configure them without any issues. Second is the storage.lua. You can add your custom storage. Also, you can make a proper item to cigarette box to cigarettes of multiple cigarette. If you are using a, this system, you can open a cigarette box. You can get 20 cigarettes from them, so you can add this type of items without any issues. Or close this, you can find the vehicle.lua. Here is the proper vehicle.lua. You can see the glove box slots, and same goes to the trunk slots. You can directly configure them based on the level systems here. You can find all level systems are there, so you don't need to worry about that. Now close this open the vending machine.lua. If you are using your vending machine, you can directly use this for the replace of your vending machine. You can also disable them without any issues. You can select the configurations of item. Also, you can add your own custom vending machine prop for the vending system. And here is the weapon. Low, you can find all type of weapon attachment. Same goes to the weapon taint. Also, the force magazine system. You can directly use this force magnet system after reload. It will automatically, after magazine end, it automatically reloads your gun and directly enable it or disable it based on your configuration. You can set the durability of the item without any issue. You can find the proper sections are divided, so don't need to worry about that. Also, you can find the weapon repair point. You can directly repair your gun from that. Also, you can find the available weapon. Parts are there. You can find this part where you can find after that, you can also configure your clips for the separated item, what attachment they need, and what are the point you want to give. Now close this section, your configuration is basically done. Don't need to worry about that, any configuration that we are having. So first of all, just copy this and paste it to main server directly. Now I'll show you shop, just open the configuration for the shop. First of all, you are getting the multiple options of languages, but default is selected with English. You don't need to worry about that. After that, you can find the proper framework configurations. Without any issue, you can find the target system. Also, you can see the proper JSON file for the inventory images sections. You can find or enable the delivery system. Based on your configuration, you can do it without any issue. Here is the basic products for it is a normal 24-7 shop. You can find multiple shop or they're defaultly configured. You can add it or disable it. Same goes to the locations and belief systems. You can see the proper bliss system and third systems are there. You can disable it or add your own system for the police or required job. You can directly add the software them. Now close this file. Now just copy your both of the file, copy your directory directly and paste it, your main server directory. Now copy the file name, ensure it to your server. CFE, make sure, put it your QB core that we have configured as we are already pasted, that we don't need to do this again. As you can see, I already ensured our inventory. Now that's it. Now it's properly run without any issue. Now let's see how the scripts works in game. So hey guys here, you can see I am in game. The Quasar inventory is working properly without any issue. Just press tab to open your inventory here. You can see we are having some extra items for inventory also. So first of all, I will properly demonstrate you the overview of inventory. It is the main player inventory here. You can see, you can see the weight of the inventory. Same goes to the, your drop inventory or secondary inventory. You can see the drop limit. Also, you can see first feature is the item number quantity. We can just any quantity and divide the item after that. We can use the item for this, like you can directly drag this in use button. Also, you can double click it to use the item. So you don't need to worry about that. Also, you can double click it to use the item or disable the item. Same goes to the give. If you have any other player, you can directly give them without any issue. Next is the trade item for that. If you are having any player, you can directly give them or trade them for a separate price for the inventories. Next is the throw item. You can directly throw this item, just drag it here, or just press enter. You can see the item is dropped. You can see the proper animations also. Also after that, you can pick up the item without any issue. And next is the clothing section. Here you can find the proper clothing of my character. You can directly add your clothing, also remove it, just like I am removing this, so it's properly working without any issue. So for backing it, just click on here. After that, you can find the inventory adjuster option. 
You can directly adjust all color, opacities, everything without any issue. Same goes to the colors. Also, you can directly change the border color based on the choice. Also, you can change the text color as if you like any type of text, you can directly change them. Also, you can change the border radius based on the curvature. Also, you can restart it to your old value so it will automatically restart your inventory. After that, I'll show you the soft that is already properly connected with the inventory. Now, just click on the pad. Here you can see Open Shop. Shop is here. You can also config the shop price and everything without an issue. Now, I will just buy the bandage for that. We need to have the item. And here you can see we are having the proper item without an issue. Now, just close this section. Now, I will show you the proper crafting for the inventory also. For that, they are having defaultly configured with the PD crafting. Same goes to the other default crafting. For now, I'll show you the PD crafting also. You can disable the crafting blip on the country. Now, I'll show you the PD crafting here. You can see you are at the police station. Here is the crafting here. You can see, just click on here. Here you can see the crafting properly working. You can show the materials without any issue. We can craft anything. Just like I am crafting the carbine rifle. Just click on here. Here you can see it started crafting and is properly crafted. Also, my items are removed here. You can see the carbine is added. Also, you can just double click it to use the carbine. So it is a pretty configurable. And you see easy one now. We can also see the attachment layout here. You can see now I'll show you the proper attachment for the carbine rifle here. You can see the proper animations popped up here. You can see proper attachment is here without any issue. You can see that everything can be placed also. The durability also, you can see the serial number based on the annotation. Now just click on back section and it's properly backed without any issue. You can see everything is configurable. Also, I'll show you the another version of this inventory. It is the compact version of the inventory. You can also make it a standard one. Now I'll show you the standard one here is the standard version of the inventory. It is the most classic UI without any issue. You can see the bank and cash, also the player ID, same goes to the other items. Also, you can see hidden tabs or their only PD can show the hidden tab. You can also disable that. No one can see the hidden tab. It is based on your choice. So you can also configure that based on the configuration list. You can directly change the every layout that you are. Need that's it guys, you can see the hood. Also, you can see proper live hood with every details without any issue. That's it guys, hope you like our video. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in my next video.